Hello and welcome to this short introductory video taking a benzene sample using the multi-ray benzene unit. So we've started up the unit and the first thing that can be dis is displayed is install the cartridge and place the monitor in TVOC mode. Now what that is inferring is that on this top section you will see you can skip between T and B. So T is for TVOC, total volatile organics, and B is for benzene mode. Now what this does is it, if it's in T, it will take the sample directly from the middle of this assembly. If it's in B, it will take it from this front tube here. So that's where it passes from, instead of going a straight line through into the instrument, the gas flow then flows through one of the tubes in the cartridge. So to start up the instrument, obviously we don't have a broken tube, so we want it in TVOC mode. So we've made sure that's correct. Now we press yes, and the pump will now begin, and the instrument will go for its standard startup. We're now given the option to fresh air calibrate the device. For our purposes, we won't worry about that. So now we can see the instrument is in standard operation. We've got an LEL sensor, CO sensor, HOS, oxygen, and total VOCs at the moment. So we'd use this for general surveying. And then once we got a positive on the VOC reading and we wanted to confirm if that was indeed a benzene measurement, we would then scroll across once to start the tube sampling. So this is tube benzene start sampling, yes. Now it says install the cartridge if it wasn't pre-installed and switch to benzene mode. So we now flick over to benzene mode and that has now um, taken the path through to this front tube. So we can hit yes, select the appropriate tube, so the tube you want to use, these are revolver fashion, so you can spin them around and select which tube you want to take the sample through. So for our purposes, we'll select a fresh tube and then we need to break both ends. So we push down the breakers on this side, the benefit of which being that we get no sharps or loose ends. So we're now taking a sample through this tube, we've got a nice broken tube, and we're now ready to take a benzene sample. So we hit yes. Now the benzene tube sampling, sampling time takes 100 seconds on the multi-ray. Now the reason for this sampling time is because it takes a while for gas to transition through this highly dense substrate in the tube and onto the detector. And plus it's got to fill the whole back cartridge. So it is important if you're looking for a benzene specific measurement, you must follow this process and must wait the full 100 seconds for your sample. So we can see the benzene sample is now complete and we're getting a zero reading on benzene. Now, if you so wish, you can scroll across again and then we're given the option to repeat the test. So we could then skip over to the next tube, break the ends and perform another benzene specific measurement. So if we wanted to confirm the result of benzene, we then might want to rinse the, repeat the test with an additional tube. For our purposes, we have zero benzene, so we'll just skip back to normal measurement mode, which means we need to now re-enter T-Bot mode. So skip back into T and then we're back in normal operation. We hope you found this instructional video useful. Should you require any further support or technical assistance, feel free to give us a call on 01489 326 031 or alternatively outside normal working hours call 07951 854824 or you can visit our website at www.safetymonitors.co.uk. Thanks for listening.